Hey, you probably noticed Synology uploading their keynote event videos a few weeks ago and you're probably thinking when the event is gonna actually take place, when it's gonna happen, if it's ever gonna happen in the first place. Maybe this year they're gonna do digital event only. Nobody knows these answers but um, surely this event should take place very soon if it will. On this video we're gonna go through all of the models on Synology page, the active live products, and look at the dates when they've been released. And um, based on that, we're gonna predict what models we could expect to be replaced on this uh, annual event. So nobody knows when the event is gonna take place. As you can see, 2017, it was um, November. The next year was uh, June, then September, November, December, December, October. So technically it had to be end of year event, but now it's already February, so it's long overdue. So it's supposed to take any moment soon now. So just, let's have a look what we could expect on value series. Uh, currently you can see that I've highlighted them in green color, the models that have been refreshed uh, recently. And those are anything to do with uh, 24 series or 23 series models. So you can see all of these models have Realtek uh, 1619B, which is a really good CPU for multimedia uh, in home environment. It's uh, not something to do uh, Plex transcoding with, but it's really good with internal first party apps on, on Synology. So there is one thing which is standing out, it's uh, DS120J. So that's supposed to be replaced with DS124J, but since they have released uh, B station recently, they might actually discontinue this uh, model in the first place. But if they do re renew it, we could expect our new series A9 Armada chip on this uh, NAS, but we will see, it's just a speculation. So about plus series, they recently released 20, uh, uh, two bay, four bay uh, models. Uh, as you can see, 923 have uh, been released in 20, end of 2022. So I, I called in orange, so it's probably not going to replace, but there is a possibility. And if they do replace it, they might use the same CPU with uh, uh, graphics chip built in, would be R1606G with Lega. What's very likely to be replaced is uh, DS2422. That's been now uh, three years old. Uh, I could expect as well the same CPU with graphics chip in, in, built in. Uh, the Slim Series 620 Slim, that's pretty old now. I'm expecting that to be replaced with a newer CPU, which is not the newest CPU per se, but it, they're using this J4125 on uh, 224 plus and uh, 423 uh, plus. Uh, the other thing that could be replaced is 1821, could be 1824 plus now. They could use we 1780B Ryzen CPU. That would be logical step to do, uh, to migrate to that step. So let's move forward. This is about plus series, what I could expect to be replaced. XS series. Recently, they released 1823 with this CPU I just mentioned earlier. Um, there could be uh, DS3622 replaced. That's pretty, but you need to also keep in mind that XS series are usually refreshed every five years. So that's, that's why it's orange. If they do replace, that's the CPU I think they might be using. Um, surveillance uh, models, a DVA1622. I don't think so they'll replace that. That's also three to five years refresh time. So if they do replace, they might replace this DVA3221, which has Atom. And they might use this uh, Ryzen CPU with graphics built in. But I think it's unlikely they'll replace surveillance series, but you never know. Um, plus series rack mounts. There is a new uh, RS2-2423 and RP. A plus version released uh, last year around this time so very unlikely they'll replace that uh, also existing 
8.22 and 4.22 plus. They are fairly recent rack mount models. They also release every three years, maybe something like that. So we are looking at RS2821 and RS1221 to be replaced, likely, and that's the CPU they might be using, uh, Ryzen V1780B. And then moving on to Axis series rack mounts, uh, what is long overdue now, RS3618 XS and RS6019XS. Also, they very likely going to use those uh, CPUs uh, from Ryzen. Flash station, this is not something they'll be uh, refreshing anytime soon, I think. Um, same with Dual Controller, they recently rela released UC3400 with Xeon. These are um, enterprise class uh, NAS solutions that do not get refreshed that often, so I wouldn't expect anything there. Uh, and same with scale, uh, scalable solutions, SA models or HD, unlikely there'll be anything new. And what do you think? Uh, go to NAS Compare's website, we have created a poll there. Maybe we missed out something on this video. Maybe there are some predictions or some sort of facts or proofs or some findings you have. So you could actually share that with us uh, on this poll. We will be soon making a video with Verbi and going more into details about all these uh, potential releases. So tune in and stay, stay updated and, and you'll see that video soon. Uh, otherwise, as always, you can uh, send questions through. If you have any questions, go to Nask and Bears, fill the form. Uh, also, you can use uh, Discord forum or join in and circle and have direct messages with us. And uh, this is about it today. I hope this was helpful and see you next time.